In this lesson we will be adjusting our nesting settings. We do this by entering to our nest settings icon. We begin by choosing a basic algorithm. Algorithm number one is for our large quantity rectangular parts. Number two for our irregular shaped smaller quantities. Number three is for any nesting done on scrap irregular sheet database materials. And number four for common line shared edge laser cutting. Further examples and definitions may be found in the help file. We may also adjust the spacing or grid size, as well as the start corner for our nest. We may name our nest job here, as well as listing the programmer and any additional comments we need. The nest around clamps option allows us to dip below our dead zone area in order to nest in the open space between clamps. Packing filler into holes places parts inside of large open holes of large parts. And the pack filler only into marked holes allows for this operation to occur only in holes where a center point has been placed. These options are available only in algorithm number three. We now proceed to the mixed machines option. In here we're allowed to split our job into multiple nesting jobs for each machine. We may further split our nest jobs by material and thickness, and save our modified nest jobs with individual names. We do this by first creating a base name and then splitting. The next option is to course all parts to the same machine using our parts conversion option. We will discuss this further later on. And the final option is to continue nesting with mixed machines. In our parts conversion option, this allows the user to convert all parts within a nesting list of parts to one machine material type and thickness. If you're converting parts from the same machine you can keep its tooling or have it auto tool again using the parts auto tooling defaults. You may also do the same with compatible machines. When doing this we can overwrite the existing PDG files so that the former machine data will be overwritten. If we want to maintain the original PDG, we can have the new parts create an appendage or save the parts into a different folder so as to not overwrite the existing PDG file. Once we convert, the software converts all parts to the single part, machine, material, and thickness. The final option in here is for turret information only. This concerns only punch customers. Return to basic and hit done. We can now proceed with our nesting engine by clicking our do nesting icon. Once complete, this then reveals our nesting patterns result. This ends the lesson for our nest settings.